It starts with this, Terry Bradshaw breathless during a routine segment on Fox Sports NFL football show. You know one thing, you talked about reading the coverages. Are you tired of that? You talk about, I only got one lung. You talk about, clear. But look, he I didn't some air. And then you get done and you're on Howie like this. I couldn't breathe, you're right. That's when everybody noticed what's wrong with him. You know, social media went, get rid of him. He needs to be off the air. Mm -hmm. He's an embarrassment. And I'm like, embarrassment? What? He got cancer. He didn't know that. But the audience had no idea. The following week, Bradshaw came clean. And a lot of people are asking, what's wrong with me? The four-time Super Bowl winner and NFL Hall of Famer diagnosed with two different cancers in less than a year. Folks, I may not look like my old self, but I feel like my old self. The first bladder cancer. I wasn't scared. Really? No. I, you know what, Harry? I don't know why. I never was scared. I mean, you're Terry Bradshaw. You're bigger than life. Well, cancer didn't think so. I don't think cancer cares. Listen, cancer shows no favoritism. I honestly, Harry, said, okay, so what do we do? As a man of faith, as a Christian, my attitude was, well, if I go, I'm okay. If I stay, I'm okay. Cancer number one detected early. Treatment successful. So you get the clean bill of health. Right. You're cruising along in your life. Right. And it comes knocking on your door again. Again. I had nerve pain in my neck and my shoulder. Right. Which is, I have injured my neck before, so this is not uncommon. You did play quarterback I in did. the National Football League. An MRI was ordered. You got a tumor. On this side, they checked here, but they saw it over here, the tumor. And I went, what? Now, this bothered me. Diagnosis, a rare skin cancer, Merkel cell, much more serious. I'm just looking at your face. That one got your attention. It did. It did. Do you think in its own way that incident where you're leaning on how it was yeah. almost like a blessing in disguise? Because it made you talk about it. Yeah, it did. How do you talk about it? How do you talk about your problems when everybody else has got the same problem? Or worse. So I didn't talk about it because I didn't want pity. I think the perception around America with all the, the millions of people is, oh, look at him. Bless his heart. He has cancer. Well, my husband died of cancer or my kids. Are, mm -hmm. I didn't want that. It took me a long time before I told my family. But Bradshaw did not battle cancer alone. His wife, Tammy, is his rock. The doctor calls me to tell me what it is. And then I'm shook because I was a radiation therapist for 10 years. So I knew where this could go. I knew what the outcomes could be. And it did scare me the second time with that diagnosis. No. And I never said this to him, but inside I carried a lot more worry and stress than what I let him know, I think. In real life, though, mm -hmm. were there tears? Not in front of him, no. I can't put into words how thankful I am for her. Seriously. I can't imagine not holding her hand when we take off on a plane or when we snuggle up when we're in bed together or when she's sitting over there with our sick puppy and I look at her and she doesn't know I'm looking at her and I'm, I'm so thankful. Now I'm getting emotional. The Bradshaws are in the midst of downsizing in a big way. They run one of the most impressive quarter horse operations anywhere and recently sold more than 100 head. We're going to go to Europe, going to go to Paris, going to go to wherever we want to go. I'm going to get all this in because I feel like I don't want to put this off anymore. Mm. I may have 25, 30 years left, but I'm going to act like I got one. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.